Hey, what is going on guys? So Kid up here again, coming back to another design videos. Um, it's actually a very, um, it's a very like smoky day in Vancouver right now. I think it's because of the wildfire outside um, somewhere in, uh, I think in uh, Washington state. And then the smoke just kind of like blow all the way up to Vancouver. Um, but yeah, it's been like very smoky in the past few days. And last week as well, I went to Yellowstone last week. Um, if you check my video, I put, I put a video of uh, of the trip to Yellowstone. Um, so you can check that out. It was like pretty smoky as well. But Yellowstone was great. It's about like 15 hours drive from Vancouver. So it's a long drive, but I think it's worth it. Uh, but anyways, I mean, this video today, I'm going to be talking about the color stuff. Um, so what kind of colors you pick for your um, for your design project. Um, but again, before I start to it, um, there's no, definitely no right or wrong about colors. Everybody likes different colors, right? Like I personally, I love black and I love like, um, I love uh, um, gray stuff. But when I'm working on my design, um, I choose a lot of blue colors. But again, right, colors is like more like a personal preference, whether you like the color or your client like the color. So it's really just up to you, whoever is making the call um, but there's definitely something that you may want to keep in mind when you're picking color mm. so we're going to talk, talk about those but again before i start um this video i'm not going to be talking about the um the meaning of the color so like if you're in the bank industry what kind of colors do you choose for banks if you're in the food industry what does that color mean for food um what is like the mood of a color so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be talking about those i'm just gonna talk about like how do you apply that color to your design um, so let's check that out Um, so um, for 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 the web design or for in general just uh, print design I think print design right now too um, there are two set of I don't know how you call it like two set of color hue color tone or color scheme um, one I call it more, I don't know if I call it right or wrong but like I would call it like more vivid colors so like a color that is um, very bright very shiny it's called I will call it a vivid color tone and the other one is more like a milky way <laughs> the milky way not exactly but i mean think about like when you have a color to work with right now right you can put let's say if you work with um, a set of colors and then you put some milk into your color color palettes and that color palettes become like kind of like white stuff in it so you kind of make it a little more like less vivid and more like the milk in it if you know what i mean and and, and that's what i would call like the milky color tone um but like if you look at the design right now like all the thing you see online is a lot of like especially the flat design trend if you don't know what flat design is flat design basically means that a design is pretty much like a pretty monotone color um a, a, a scheme that doesn't have a lot of colors uh, sorry it doesn't have a lot of gradients it doesn't have a lot of shadows so it's pretty flat there's no depth to it that's what i call like the flat design um, if you look at the flat design right now a lot of design scheme for flat design especially it's pretty it's pretty milky so like all their colors is pretty milky kind of add a hue to it to make it not 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 too shiny um so personally a lot of red project i work on right now is a lot of like this kind of milky color to it so my suggestion my advice for you is like if you're working on a project for your clients if your clients is not specifically looking for like something super crazy something super pop then you may want to stay with the milky way okay <laughs> with the milky color tone um, but yeah let's get to the slide right now I have in here so if you look at that right now right I have two different colors in here there's the same blue one again is more vivid for sure one is more milkiest thing so it's just like some example of like what i meant by making toning down your color to make it a lot more like flat color a lot more desirable for i would say the majority of people so if you look at that right now if i have to pick one i will have to pick the one on the left hand side so it's blue i'm just gonna put like some example of like different colors to uh, show you guys like what kind of thing i'm talking about here what is vivid what is not vivid what should you pick what you should not pick all right so red again one is very vivid one is like more more um more or less vivid milky milky color tone and this one is kind of like airbnb as well right if you look in the airbnb 
they kind of stay away, away from uh, the very vivid one and again like um, um, yellow, yellow, green, black last but not least okay black a lot of people when they're picking a background color right especially when I look at a lot of like junior designer they just don't know about this and when they pick a color right they pick a very vivid black color and make the design kind of kind of too dark like something that is like kind of sucking me in right so you want to tone it down again just put some milk in it make it less vivid let it make, make it less dark um, so definitely again there's no right or wrong when you're picking one but um, right now I have to mention now there's one rule of thumb that you may want to keep in mind when you're working on this alright the rule of thumb is that like if you're picking a color just pick one side of it okay don't try to mix them um, again um, not all the project actually there are some projects I worked on the, the client preferred to have like something super pop so I chose the vivid color tone but whatever whichever side you choose try to stick with that so if your color if your site if the project you're working on is like one color is like super vivid then you don't want to mix them so the other color set you want to make them vivid as well if you choose to be kind of milky then you want to stick with the milky side don't mix them that's like one rule of thumb that I um, I have to highlight because if you mix them, the whole thing is going to be um, inconsistent. So you want to pick one side of the color system. Um, so now um, I want to give you some like personal suggestions of colors. Um, how do you match colors, right? So in a design, there definitely like you, you can choose whatever colors you want to choose on it, right? But there's another rule of thumb is like you don't want to put um, all like seven colors in your design. You don't want to like put so much on your design, right? So color means something in the design as well. Sometimes um, when you have like call to action, right? Your call to action may be one color and then your sub call to action is another color. So color kind of means like a system in your design as well. You want people to understand it when they're going to your website, right? When they're looking at your design, they want to understand you kind of want to educate your user to know that whenever I have, let's say I'm using blue as my call to action button, then I always want to stay with that blue. So whenever people look at that blue, means like it's a huge, uh, big call to action. Maybe I want to use a second color, maybe like, I don't know, maybe uh, orange as, a, as my second color. So when people look at the uh, orange, they know that this is not the main button color. So you kind of want to educate people in some way. So one rule of thumb is like, don't put so much, too much, um, too much uh, colors on your design. Try to stick with maybe like maximum, maybe like three colors or four colors. If it's more than that, it's a little confusing. Um, by that, I mean like, the, the main color so pick with choose uh, maybe like two is very good number I use a lot of my design I only stick with two colors sometimes I use three but more than that I don't really go with more than that it could have different colors but like it's not main colors so main colors should only have like two to three colors um, so now I want to give you some like personal recommendation of colors like what color I would choose when I'm working on my design so these are the colors scheme that I work with a lot when I'm designing um, so first one you see in here is that I have the uh, blue and uh, orange um, yeah blue and orange or blue and yellow that's one color scheme that I work with a lot all of my design I don't know I just love this color scheme I work with them a lot and or again right orange or blue they're different hue but they're kind of like the same colors right like even orange you have gonna have like different huge of orange but they're still the same color or purple and kind of like meets green it's very popular as well a lot of design you see online right now out there they choose this kind of thing again like not necessarily the same the exact same hue um, but um, but uh, they're similar so like purple mixed with uh, this kind of like mid green is pretty popular I think it works pretty good too or like purple mixed with uh, orange I think it's good as well um, definitely um, um, blue with uh, blue with uh, red I don't know why but like I just love blue like blue can work with a bunch of different colors like blue is just like one kind of universal color can ma can match with a lot of things imagine right now right Blue is blue is the main color for the jeans, right? Every everywhere you go, you see people wearing jeans is blue. I think because like blue just match really well with uh, many other color system color scheme. So blue is definitely a thing that you may want to go for. Um, last but not least, again, 
black and uh, white black and white I love black and white even my clothes my wearing styles I love black and white black and white is uh, um, a lot of my design I will have at least like some black elements in it either it's the fonts or other something and the white is mostly for the background color so white is very good as well for I don't know like if you want to add some more white space not by the way white space doesn't mean like it has to be white it could be any other colors but white is just in general it just help people to breathe better so black and white is definitely love it um so now eventually um there is one other thing is like if you're just starting out right it may be hard for you to pick a color to choose or, or, or just by looking at my video right now it's still very hard for you to um, um, design what kind of colors are you going to use on your design so one thing you may want to look into is like you can always go to your website and just try to follow whatever people are using on their websites right or the other way is like if you're on Drupal right now, then you can see all their design. They kind of have um, the color palettes on the side. So I still do that a lot right now. A lot of my design, if I just have no idea what kind of colors I want to choose, I would just take a design and then choose exactly the color hue as uh, what they have in here and apply it directly to my design. Especially if you like some kind of designers on, on, on Drupal, if you follow somebody, they always have like a set of colors that they use and i don't i don't know why like especially this uh this this agency called yuano um they just have like a lot of different pop colors and like all the colors they choose to me generally i think they just have a very very good eyes of picking colors and their colors just are very on point um so you can always just go on some websites like that and then uh, try to find some colors that you like and then just apply directly to your to your design so i love for example right i love this color scheme like the uh, the orange is very good um the blue is very good i don't know i just love it like this whole color scheme is just very very good so i can just pick the rally from what what, it, what they have in here to apply on my design so it works like that as well um but again there's no right or wrong but like if you but but colors always like place uh colors always play a very very vital um 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 kind of uh it's very just very important to your design so pack your colors very very carefully that's my only advice for you guys so uh, i think that's all for this video um i again i really hope that you kind of learn something from this video and i hope that the stuff that i talk about that's going to be helpful for you guys um for the next uh, for the next video i think i'm going to talk about maybe gradient um how do you apply gradient to your design what is good about gradient um what is you stay away from when you're picking gradient um something to keep in mind um but it's not going to be a long video like all this kind of video maybe kind of shorts um this one is kind of long but yeah for the next video maybe shorter um, but anyways if you like my work if you uh, like the stuff i talk about subscribe to this channel and uh, follow me on social media like um, um, Dribble, um, Angelist and all those things, social media links down below and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Cheers!